What's up guys, Econ John here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Rotterdam demand system. Let's go. So what is the Rotterdam demand system? The Rotterdam demand system is a type of differential demand system, which was developed independently by Henry Thierrell and Anton Barton. It's called the Rotterdam demand system because it's named after the city where the two researchers are from. Uh, this is a differential demand system, which is useful because it estimates demands while dealing with issues such as unobserved heterogeneity from within our demand equations and relates them back to theory. Uh, the reason why the differential demand system is employed is because it's used to mimic the total differential of any first order conditions for any utility maximization problem. It should be noted that though this is a difference demand system, our interpretation of our variables do not change when compared to its non-difference counterparts. We only obtain more accurate estimates and deal with heterogeneity. So recall that the Marshallian demand for some arbitrary good i at time t is defined as x as a function of prices and income. Taking the natural logs and differentiating with respect to time, we go and get the following, uh, where beta ij is the uncompensated cross price elasticity of good i with respect to good j. Uh, eta i naught is the income elasticity of the ith good. Uh, this is the standard differential demand system. If we were to multiply both sides by equation i's budget share, we obtain the Rotterdam demand system, where mu i is referred to as the marginal value share, and pi i j is the uncompensated cross price elasticity weighted by good i's budget share. Uh, you should notice that in uh, the Rotterdam demand system, uh, we go and we see this d log q i term. Uh, this is referred to as the divisa uh, quantity index, where d log q, right, is equal to d log income m all over this p term, where uh, d log p is equal to the summation of uh, all differentiated log pj, right, where these are all other price terms times this wj term, right? This is the coefficient on it. This is the divisa price index. So you have the divisa quantity index, and in that you have the divisa price index. So let's talk about the mathematical properties of the Rotterdam demand system. Uh, we have, you know, the classic ones which are inherent in all uh, demand systems, right? Which is necessary for consumer theory. You have your income elasticity summing to one, right? You have your cross price elasticities summing to zero. You have your homogeneity assumption, right? Which is worked into, uh, you know, this weighted share over here, right? Because you're summing over really your budget shares, right? But it's a weighted budget share, so. Notice that there's a difference between the summation of J for the cross price elasticities and then the summation of I for homogeneity. And then we have our symmetry of our Slutsky matrix and our matrix of, of you know, pi I J terms, right? Those have to be negative semi-definite with a rank of N minus one. This model is useful for calculating elasticities because it's fairly straightforward and we can derive them directly, right? Because for income elasticity, we can just take mu and divide it by its budget share, its own price, we just go and divide it by its budget share, and its cross price, we just divide by its budget share. So the question is, why are we going and using this system as opposed to a differentiated demand system? Um, the reason why it's easier is because we normalize our budget shares to one, right? We don't have a lot of wonky quantities going around, right? Because it's all centered around budget shares, right? Because we will, otherwise we will get sometimes results that don't really make so much sense. So it's easier just to normalize the data to one. So practically speaking, we end up using a discrete version of the Rotterdam demand system. Um, so this is the equation that we're looking at where we have this capital WIT star, right? Times DQI, which is equal to mu bar times D capital MT bar plus the summation of all pi IJ terms, where J goes from one to N times this DPJ. So what's this D term? So this is a log first differencing term. So like, for example, if you see a D in front of an X term, right, that means that you have log XT minus log XT minus one. So some specific variables are is that this W term, right, this is a weighted average of two terms between both periods. So what what does this budget share occupy? As in how much of the consumer's budget does it occupy in you know period T versus T minus one? And 
this other term over here, this is a supernumerary price index, right? This DM bar, right? Where we have the changes in income between two periods of minus this, uh, I guess, what we'd call it some index of differentiated subsistence expenditure, uh, similar to what was in the almost ideal demand system. So uh, this is the Rotterdam demand system. I hope this video helps. I'll see you in another one.